my Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshu Ben Uriah Israel, and we want to take this moment to say thank you for your subscriptions, thank you for your likes, your comments, and also thank you for your prayers. Last time we were in um, uh, Psalm 18, verse 11, we had just about a few thoughts that we need to complete on that. But um, if we remember in verse 11, we say that he made his darkness his secret place, his pavilion around about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. And the last time when we stopped um, in the session, we were dealing with the skies. And, and um, we're saying here that he made the darkness his secret place. His pavilions round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies and and we mentioned that the word skies were sharker sharker and um, we said it was a masculine noun and it, what the word means there was um, dust or clouds dust or clouds and um, we said that it was um, small Thus, and we, we talk about heaven and sky and, and, and so on, okay? And um, we're in verse 12, where he said, the brightness pass before him as it thick clouds, hail, stones, and coals of fire. And we did say that the word was abar, abar. In means to alienate, verse 12, verse to alienate, and, um, and, 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 and we, we talk about the fact that um, by definition was to pass over or pass through or pass by or to pass on. Okay, and so on. All right, so in verse 13. In verse 13, um, it says, Yahuwah also thundered in the heavens. Yahuwah also thundered in the heavens. And he said, the highest gave his voice. And the highest gave his voice. Hail stones and coals of fire. Um, I want us to look at the, 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 the word there in, um, in verse 13, highest. Most, the word there, highest, means most, is alone, alone, Elion, Elion. Elion, um, Most High, it is what Most High Yahuwah, or Elohim, Elion, um, the Hebrew word here is Elion, and uh, um, the consonants that make up the word Ayin, Lamed, Yod, uh, and Vav, and Nun, Elio, and uh, it means higher, it means upper, high. Uh, upper, most high, upper, most high, are the uppermost, 
and they come from the word Allah. All an elevation uh, that is lofty, uh, the compares uh, as a title, the supreme. Um, you know, the most high, highest, uppermost, rise up, cause to ascend up, to break the day up, to break up, to cause, to burn. It comes from a primitive root, to ascend, intransitively, be high or actively um, to mount most using in a, a variety of, of sense is a, um, is a primary and secondary literally or figuratively as follows arise up cause to ascend uh, you know at once to break the day up, to bring up, to cause to, to burn, to carry up, or to cast up, to show or to climb up, cause to make, to come up, to cut off, or down, depart, exalt, excel, fall, fetch, uh, fetch up, get up, make to, uh, to go away, uh, to grow over and to increase, to lay, to leap, levy, lift, self up, light, make up, mention, mount up, offer, to make, uh, to pay, to a perfect a prefer a cut to put to, to rise to cover to restore scale to set up to shoot forth begin to to spring up to stir up to take away work my brother says the word is used here in a great variety of application Elio. Elion is our most high. He is our most high. And look at word, um, verse 14. He said, Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them. All the enemies at his arrow, my brothers and sisters. He sent out his arrows. And he scattered them. And then he said, and he shot out lightnings and discomforted them. <laughs> oh, praise his holy name. My brothers and sisters, when your enemies are surrounding, you're, sur you're surrounded by your enemies. And you call out. Yahweh, you call upon him, my brothers and sisters. That's all I do. Believe in him and trust him. No, my brothers and sisters, I'm going to say something to you and to me too. We should not knowingly put ourselves in jeopardy. Because we know that Yahweh is there for us. We shouldn't do that. That's presumptuous. My brothers and sisters, that is presumptuous. It's, you know, you know that Yahweh is protecting us. And we're walking on the street and you see a truck coming. Oh, Yahweh is going to stop the truck. No, he doesn't work like that. No, he does not. He doesn't. He protects us, my brothers and sisters. But we have to be in obedience to him and to the law of gravity. 
If you see a bunch of thieves out there, you know that they're going to rob you. You don't just go, yeah, I'm coming down here. You better just get out of the way because, you know, I have my Yahweh. No, that's presumptuous. Do you remember Yahushua in his ministry, earthly ministry? He went to a place that's called Joey. And they tried to catch him and throw him over the, 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 you know, into a ditch. He escaped. And it's from that day he never walked there anymore. He never walked in that spot anymore. At that direction. So we, we don't put ourselves into a situation because we know that we have a Yahuwah who is by our side and he's going to help us. We don't do that, my brothers and sisters. That we should not do that. That is presumptuous. The scripture said, he that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, it is sin. Alright. That is like you're forcing your horse's hand. We don't do that. We have to be wise. And my brother, we have to do the things that brings glory to him. So he sent out his arrows. We, we can't see when he's sending them out. Sometimes we can't see the after effect of what happened. And he scattered them. Sometimes we can see our enemies running, but we don't know why they're running. It's not you, made them, it's Yahuwah. And he sent out, and he shot out lightnings, my brothers and sisters. And what he did with the lightning? What does he do with the lightning? He discomforted them. Made them uncomfortable. And they have to leave. They can't stand around there. Because Yahweh's power and his servants, his, his angels, his ministering rocks are there to protect us. Praise his holy name. Praise his name. Praise his name. In verse 15, he said, Then the channels of water were seen. And the foundations of the world were discovered. I die with you, O Yahuwah. At the blast of the breath of thy nostril. All you have to do is just breathe. He breathed. I believe this is what happened when he told Moses and Moshe. To put your hand, stretch your new right out towards the sea. Yahuwah breathed his breath, parted. <laughs> his breath parted the water so they could pass through and dry land. Is the same thing happened at Jordan? When he told the, the, he said, let the priest stand in the middle. Can you imagine? Jordan River, nobody mess around with Jordan River. When it comes down, it's coming down with. It's always over right this bank. So anything he catches, the trees and stuff coming down. They're coming down. Anything in the way is gone. I mean, you cannot stand one of those trees that is coming down, or the branches or whatever coming down. Tree. Animals or anything it catches. Waves, everything, just the force of that water. But here, he said, then the channels of water were seen and the foundations of the world 
were discovered at thy rebuke, O Yahuwah. Can you imagine Yahuwah just rebuke the world? Oh, praise his holy name. What a wonderful Yahuwah we serve. The word see here, the word see is Raha. Raha is a Hebrew word, Raha. Resh, Aleph, and He. And it means to see. To see. Advise, cause to show self, sight of others, espy, stare, surely, think, view. A primitive rule to see, literally or figuratively, in numerous applications, my brothers, my sisters, and um, to direct our uh, and imply is a transitive, intransitive, causatively. To say to advise self, appear, approve, behold, certain, uh, certainly, um, consider, discern, make, to enjoy, to have experience, to gaze. We talk about the words see here, the different usage. Take heed, indeed. Joyfully, low look on one another, one on another, one upon another, <laughs> out, up, up, and mark, meet, be near, perceive. With other words, see here, my brothers and sisters, present, uh, provide, regard, have respect or cause to let see one another show self sight of others surely think view as a vision and the one to look in the same word he said then the channels of waters were seen and the foundations of the world I want to look at the word there, world, it's the foundation of the world, world, discovered at thy rebuke, O Yahuwah, at the blast of the breath of thy nostril. The word world here is, is a word, tebel, tebel, tebel. It is tab, bet, and lamed. And the word means world, table means world. Um, and, 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 and the world, it, it can also have the idea of um, confusion. Confusion from Yebal, the earth as moist and therefore inhabited by extension the globe or by implication its inhabitants specifically uh, a partic land uh, as, as, as Babylon as Babylonia as Palestine as you know habited uh, you know habited part of the earth okay and and uh, and, and you say at, 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 all of this happened at the review, at his review, Yahuwah's review. Um, the, 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 the word review here is Ge'ara. Ge'ara is the is Hebrew word, Ge'ara. And it means a rebuke, Ge'ara. Ge'ara. Gimel, Aleph, Resh, and He. Ge, it means a review, Gehara. And um, when we talk about the review here, like about the review 
rebuking, reproof. You know, and he come from Gear, a chiding, a rebuking, a reproof, a corrupt, rebuke, reproof, and from a primitive root to hide, I mean to chide rather. You know, it's a corrupt, rebuke, reproof. Um, you know, his word, my brothers and sisters, his word is, 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 is also seen as rebuking us and reproving us, reproving us, my brothers and sisters. And, and you know, when we're not doing what we should, should, should do, you know, it's just what his word does. But it, here he says, the channels of water were seen. And, you know, the foundation of the world were discovered at the rebuke. And we're going to stop here, um, you know, because our time is gone for this session. So we'll come back and from where we left off here in verse 15. We're going to ask him, my brothers and sisters, to be a blessing to someone today and walk with the King. Shalom.